Ukraine troops fired artillery at frontline positions near Makhmut. Ukraine salesmen fired M119 hours towards Russian positions next to the eastern city of Bakhmut on Friday, March 3rd. Ukraine has decided to fight on in the ruined city of Bakhmut because the battle there is pinning down Russia's best units and degrading them ahead of a planned Ukrainian spring counteroffensive. An aide to President Volodymyr Zelensky said, "A comments by Mihailo Borulik were the latest signal of a shift by Kiev this week to continue the defense of the small city, eastern city, site of the worst, bloodiest battle as Moscow tries to tries to secure its first victory in more than half a year. Russia has made Bakhmut the main target of a winter offensive involving hundreds of thousands of reservists and mercenaries. It has succeeded in capturing the eastern part of the city and the outskirts to the north and south, but has so far failed to close a ring around Ukraine defendants there. Kiev, which had seemed at the start of March to be planning to withdraw the positions west of the city, announced at the start of, the, of this week that its generals had decided to reinforce its troops in Bakhmut and fight on. In the morning update, the Ukrainian general staff reported a large number of attacks along the front and said the enemy is not holding its attacks on Bakhmut. Moscow says capturing Bakhmut would be a step in the step towards capturing all of Ukraine's Donbass in the Russian region, a major objective. Russian Defense Minister Sergei So said on Tuesday, seizing the city would punch a hole in Ukrainian defenses and let Moscow advance deeper. The tense trench warfare described by both sides as a meat as a meat grinder has led to huge losses, but Kiev's decision to stay and fight rather than withdraw was a sign. It believes Russia's losses are far worse than its own 